everyone, this is Denise with Cadet Health Consulting. Today I'm gonna show you the different type of knives that you can have in your kitchen, as well as how to maintain them and sharpen them. Now, I like using very sturdy, sharp knives. Um, so I will show you, this is my 10 inch chef knife, very sturdy, for someone that has, you know, big hands, can actually use that and be okay. And so, and then now you have your eight inch knife. Now I use this every day. Um, this is my everyday chef knife that I can use, use for everything that you actually want in the kitchen and need. And you also have your boning knife. And I use that to debone my chicken. Like say if I get a whole chicken, you use the sturdy knife that you can use to cut the meat and cut it off the bone and do everything with it with meat itself. And then you have your paring knife. And now this is a small paring knife that you can use. I use that to you know cut small uh, objects or your fruits and vegetables that small like uh, potatoes and things like that that you need to peel, I use that. And then I also wanna add the serrated knife that you can use for bread, potatoes and things like that that you can use for it. And you also have a slicer. The slicer one you use to actually uh, cut your meat after you finish cooking it. Like say, you know, Thanksgiving days and things like that. You use this knife, it's nice and slender. And you always need a sharpener um, to keep your knife nice and sharp. I know a lot of people are scared of sharp knives, but you hurt yourself more when your knife are not sharp. Now I'm gonna show you how to maintain your knife, maintain the sharpness of your knife with a uh, sharpener. So when you are sharpening your knives, you don't go flat, you don't go straight. You just, I put it at a small angle and you hold your thumb underneath the guard that you have here. So you can easily just go down, other side, down, and you do that same amount for each side. So if you're gonna do five here, you do five there. So one, two, three, four, five. And you then will hold your knife, and don't be scared, take your hand and just go like this. And you can literally feel the knife and hear it. It's nice and sharp. You don't go like so, <laughs> just side by side to feel the knife. Okay, so that's that. Now, another thing that you can do to sharpen your knife if you wanna go all into it, is get a nice stone to get your knife sharpened. That now, this is not just maintenance. This is getting the knife sharp. I use my stone. You get some water. You get your, your stone nice and wet. And I maintain my stone in a water. The same angle, you take your knife and you go up and down or side by side, whichever one you wanna call it. And you do that for whatever amount of time you wanna do that. And then you do the same thing the other side of the knife. You hold at an angle and you go. And you get it sharpened. Now I do this maybe once a month to get my knife nice and sharp to keep it at that angle. And you again, you can test them by just doing that. When you do the stone, after you do the stone, you have to use your sharpener to make sure you aligned everything on your knife. Just align it. Now if you don't wanna go that deep, you can just maintain it and maintain the sharpness on a sharpener itself. Time to time, you just make sure your knives stay sharp. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Thank you.